Hi everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. In our last episode, I introduced you to the rock arm cluster. And in this video, I'm gonna show you all of the 3D printed parts so we can get this thing 3D printed, assembled, and on to the next step. Now, everything you see on the screen right now makes up all of the 3D printed components. I designed this all to snap together easily and use as few screws and fasteners as possible. So the two pieces that I printed in white are the exterior housing here, and you probably recognize this from the previous video, and it has this nice fine mesh screen on the top to keep dust and insects and things like that out. And I'll explain how we printed that. And then the base plate here, which is also white, uh, this is just the two components that you see externally. And then I printed everything else in black. Now you can print these any color you choose. Uh, this is just what I went with. Now, all of these parts can be found in the link below down on my website. I've got them packaged up in a zip file so that you can pull that down. And if you're proficient in 3D printing, this should be pretty simple for you to print out. I have a few of the how-tos and you know a few of the parts that need support and some of the specifics on how we get this fine mesh for the external housing. Now let's step through what some of these internal parts are. Here we've got the main duct. Now this handles all of the airflow. Your 80 millimeter fan is on the right and on the left is where your NAS unit goes. That's gonna handle all of your storage. And it gets just enough peripheral airflow from that duct to keep it cool. And then on the bottom, you can see where the duct exits and this keeps the other four compute nodes nice and cool. Besides that, there's only four other frame parts here. They're designed to easily snap together now, if we take our rear frame part and we'll kind of identify the back of it by where this ethernet jack is and the DC in, that's the rear of the frame. This will just snap right in. It'll take a little bit of force to get that down in that slot. And you might need to wiggle it around a little bit and apply a little extra pressure to get that to fit in there well. You might even try like a rubberized hammer. Just don't put too much pressure on it. You don't want to break any of these parts, but get them to snap down in there so that they sit nice and flush. Now that's how all of these pieces go together. So let's go ahead and just remove this piece for now because we want to get the frame halves assembled first and then we can put the whole unit together. So we're gonna take this one here and you'll notice it has a notch here. This is where our switch is going to mount a little bit later. So just identify that and that'll be the first piece we're gonna work with. And we want that notch facing outward as we're ins inserting it into the frame piece here. So that should go right in and just snaps right through. You'll want those pieces to pass all the way through and sit down flush. Again, you'll need to apply some good pressure to get that through there, especially if they're freshly 3D printed. It doesn't hurt to have an X-Acto knife around so that you can sharpen up those corners a little bit too. And then take your other piece here too. We just want the longer notch on the bottom. Other than that, it's fairly symmetrical. So we'll just go ahead and insert that in as well and get that snapped in place just the same. And then we'll take our left frame piece here and we just want to make sure that these little notches here, that they're facing inward. This is part of controlling the airflow once the heat sinks and everything are in place later and you'll see how that works. So just the same, let's go ahead and snap that over. These need to sit in there nice and flush, apply some pressure to get them all nice and aligned. And once you have that put together like this, you'll be ready to go ahead and snap that down into the base plate. And that'll align with those slots that are there on the bottom. You just wanna apply even pressure. Might have to put a little extra force on those to get them to seat down. And you just want those tabs to go down flush with the bottom. So there you go, those should be nice and flush. And we still have one other piece to go here. This is gonna be the left side of our hard disk frame, which I don't happen to have right here. We'll see it a little bit later, just cause it's attached to the hard disks already. And then, You'll see now our duct. Now we just wanna make sure our fan is pointing to the rear back towards the network and power connection. That's where our fan goes and we get that aligned in there properly. So that just sits right down in here. This is one of the few places where we're gonna use screws. So this uses just two screws on each side. And I like these brass wood screws for projects like this cause they're nice and coarse. So they tend to bite really well on the 3D printed plastic. So we'll just use those there and then two more here. I have links to these, by the way, if you look below in the description to get a nice kit of these screws. You're gonna use them for a lot of different 3D printed projects. So I find they're really handy. And there we go. So that's pretty much it as far as the internal frame. It's fully assembled at this point. 
one, two, three, and four on our nodes, and then that's where our hard disks go. Uh, we'll also have some other components on this side here. Our gigabit switch will go here with the you know ports facing this way, and then our DC to DC power supply will go in that space. And then our little Cat6 network connection will go right in there. So once it's all put together, the lid just slides right over the top, and there you have it. And then the only other screws we'll use will be on the bottom here, and you'll see we have four screw holes here that will just hold the unit all together nicely. And then we still maintain that air gap at the bottom for our ventilation to exit out. So guys, that's it for today. I just wanted to show you how this all 3D prints and assembles and how I design this. And I wanna see how you print this. I wanna see who prints this first. Definitely post down in the comments. I wanna see a picture to that, post a link somewhere. I wanna see how you did. I have no doubt that a lot of you are gonna do a better job of printing this than me. So I'd love to see that. In our next episode, we're gonna be doing all of the component assembly here. So that's really what we're excited about, right? We're gonna get all of the Rock Pie units installed. We're gonna get our switch installed, get our power supply going and get this ready for prime time. So that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not already a subscriber and you think I deserve it, please do hit that subscribe button. I look forward to sharing with you the next steps in this build, and I'd love to see your feedback down in the comments. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you in the next one.